Merry Christmas, everybody. This is Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and I am coming to you from my home in Pond in Utah. I just wanted to do something kind of unique today, and that was to share Breaking Ground, which is actually more than just a vlog. It was our Pondemonium movie spoof that we had made. Uh, my favorite TV show of all time, which was Breaking Bad. It was a big project, but when you're making seven vlogs a week, I thought our guys deserved, our team deserved to do something fun. Hopefully you guys are going to have a wonderful Christmas with your families and I love to say I love my job. Merry Christmas. In all my years of practice, I've never seen such an aggressive parasite. It's called Copepod rotifuritis. And I'm sorry to tell you this, Mr. Blue, but it is in fact terminal. Hey buddy, you all right? You didn't say two words coming all the way over here. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Come on, man. I'm your brother-in-law. If there's something bothering you, you'd be able to talk to me. No, really. I'm, I'm just I'm just thinking about the family. The family. Skylene called me. <laughs> Triplets. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, buddy. Crazy, huh? You're going to have to rob a bank to afford college tuition for them. Oh, tell me about it. I'll, I'll figure something out. So, Spank, tell me, what are we doing on this bus today? We're at Aquascape, world's largest water feature company, having their annual training. And there's a new guy. Dave Kelly. He's been slinging his illegal algicide to all the tribesmen. We're gonna bust him. Algicide is illegal. This stuff is, first of all, A, it's not EPA registered, and B, it wreaks havoc on a pond ecosystem. I didn't know there was big money to be made in the water garden industry. Oh yeah! You follow the plan, Stan, ponds done right, customers serve right, and sell the aquascape lifestyle. There's millions to be made in ponds and water treatments. Wow! Yeah, it's easy money, till we catch ya. Hey, backup has arrived. Bolt, hang tight, it's showtime! Okay, boys, take them down to the station. I got some questions for them. Hey, it's me, Mr. Blue. Don't worry, I'm alone. Mr. Blue, how'd you find me? You're still on our school's filing system. Don't worry, no one's looking for you. What the hell are you doing here? I was curious. Honestly, I never expected you to amount to much. But I'll just say, there's a lot of money in that, huh? Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Hellcat? 
That isn't you? Listen, Mr. Blue, I don't know what the hell you're doing here. If you're here to give me some type of speech on getting right with Jesus, turning myself in, it ain't happening. Get out of here, bro. Small speech. You lost your partner today. What's his name? Kelly? Kelly's going to prison. EPA took all your money, your lab, you got nothing. Square one. But you know the business, I know the chemistry. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. You and me? You want to cook algicide? That's right. Wow. Either that, or I turn you in. Check this out. Smart pond thermometer. Why the hell we need one of those? Did you not learn anything in my chemistry class? No, you flunked me, remember? Besides, this ain't chemistry, this is art. Cooking algicide is art, and the shit I cook is the bomb, yo. The shit you cook is shit. Whatever, man, what is this stuff for anyways? This? lab safety equipment. These chemicals and their fumes are toxic, in case you didn't know that. Where are we putting all this stuff? What? I thought we were cooking right here. No, oh, man, this is my house. I don't shit where I eat, yo. All right, so what if we just run out of storage garage? They got dogs that sniff around. What we need is a transit van. It would be the bomb, yo. We go mobile, we get all evasive and shit, and I know just where we can get one. We'll wait for that guy to unload the crap and then we'll snatch it out from underneath him. Why are you doing this? Seriously. Why do you do it? Uh, money. Duh. Well, there you go. No. No, that makes sense for me, but somebody like you, somebody that's 60 years old with a giant stick up his ass, all of a sudden wants to break ground into a legal business? I'm 50. Same difference, 50, 60, 80, it doesn't matter. Like, something's going on with you. you gotta be straight with me. Are you sick? Are you crazy? Like, is something <laughs> wrong with you? I just love ponds. What? I think he's gone. Let's do this. I'm a genius! You're something. They're never gonna find us. Yeah, man, this is perfect. I don't see anything but cows. There's a big cow house out about two miles that way, but I don't see any people. Cow house? Yeah, where they live. The cows. Whatever, man. This place is perfect. Let's just cook. Cow house? God help me. Uh, what are you doing? These are my good clothes. I can't go home smelling like a dirty pond. Why? I do. Please tell me you're keeping those on. Come on, daylight's burning. This is glass grade. You're a damn artist, Mr. Blue. Actually, it's just basic chemistry, Jesse. I'm glad it's acceptable. Acceptable? I should call you the pond guy. Every pond lover from here to Timbuktu is gonna want a taste of this. But why is it blue? Yeah, just a little calling card I added. So how do we proceed? You know what? We'll cook more tomorrow, but in the meantime, I know just the tribe to cater to. Hey, honey, I think you'd be up yet. Oh, it was a rough night. Big problems at work. Huge, huge, huge projects. Man, there were tons and tons of papers we read last night. It was just crazy. I couldn't even believe it. And then I was getting ready to leave. Then the janitor needed my help. I, I don't really know why, but we started moving the stuff out in the parking lot. And once we got out there, it spilled all over the place. And it, it actually caught on fire. I don't know how, but it caught on fire. We had to wait for the fire truck to show up. And I don't even know. They got, they were lights on in some way. Huh? supposed to start at three. Listen, I've been out all night making fat stacks. All right, how much is this? It's 26 big ones. That's all 26,000? Uh, no, 2,600 and your cut is 13. 
Last time I checked, there were 16 ounces in a pound. What'd you do with the rest? Like I said, I've been out all night. You think it's easy slinging algicide one teenth at a time? So why are you selling it in such small quantities? Why don't you sell the whole pound at once? Do? What do I look like, Scarface? This is unacceptable. I'm breaking the law here. This return is too little for the risk. I thought you'd be ready for another pound today. You might know a lot about chemistry, man, but you don't know jack about slinging water treatments. Uh-huh. Oh, I know a lack of motivation when I see it. Come on, you gotta be more imaginative here. Think outside the box. We gotta move our product in bulk, wholesale. So how do we do that? What do you mean, like a distributor? Exactly, a distributor. Do you know anyone like that? I might. Who? It's this guy Gasperto, he's OG. He's not gonna do business with just anybody, especially if he doesn't know you. Listen, we're making money, okay? Why can't you just be satisfied with the way it is? Absolutely not. We need more, I need more. Where do we find this man, Gasperto? Aquashella. What's an Aquashella? Aquashella is this dope industry show. It's coming up in a couple weeks, he's gonna be there. And so will we. Operation Pond Nazi. Meet Dave Kelly, AKA the tech guy. We busted him last week. But days after, we put him behind bars, and then we catch wind of a local pond that was so crystal clear, you would swear you were looking through glass. So what's wrong with that? It's probably just an Aquascape ecosystem pond. Normally I would agree with you. Aquascape is hands down the best. But we talked to the neighbors and found out that this pond has always been an algae nightmare, but within hours, it was crystal clear and even had a blue tip to it. So we got a sample of the water and found trace elements of a new super algicide. We take it to the lab and they come back and tell us it's the purest they've ever seen. 99.1%. Our chemist is just blown away. He even said he couldn't do it better himself. So be on notice. We got new players in town. We don't know who they are or where they come from, but they possess an extremely high skill set. Personally, I'm thinking the water garden capital of the world just might have a new kingpin. Yo, this place is dope. You're a dope. Whatever, man. This better work. We got 40 pounds of product we got to sell. Listen, dump. just be cool, yo. There he is. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Doing well. We hear you're the man to talk to about algae. I think you've got me confused with somebody else. I don't think so. Sir, if you'd like to file a complaint, you can submit it through email. If you like, I can refer you to our website. We heard the man we're looking for is a cautious man. If you are who we think you are, you should give us a chance. Gentlemen, thank you for coming to our show, but I have other matters to attend to. You must try one of our Happy Meals. They are most excellent. Yo, forget this man, I'm out of here. Jesse, Jesse, wait. Hey guys, I'm sorry. Am I in your seats? Eight, three to the three, six to the nine. Represent the ADI. What up, bitch? Leave it the tone. Jesse, Jesse, come on, come on, pick up the phone. Jesse, I need the product. I need the product now. I'm coming by. Come on, I need it. I need the product now. Dude, where were you? You realize I missed the birth of my children on account of you playing video games or whatever the hell you were doing? Listen, yo, it's not my fault. Some clown bumped into me and I lost my phone. Am I bad? 
My bad? That's all you gotta say for yourself? Listen, haven't you ever heard the life without problems is the definition of hell? Actually, I have heard that. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take a trip. Just sit back and laugh. Hello? Hello, Mr. Blue. I received your package and needless to say, I am more than impressed. I think it's time for a more formal introduction. Good morning. What up? Good morning, gentlemen. Follow me. My God. Oh, hell yeah. This place is incredible. I'm glad you like it, but it's not for you. It's not? No. This is my illegal meth lab. You guys are down the hall. This is your lab. Quite a lot of time has gone into this and money. And I do expect a full return on my investment. I need 20 million pounds of algicide per week. You can set your own schedule, come and go as you please, as long as you meet my quota. And how do you plan to distribute our product? Our product will be sold in a smile. A happy meal smile. The product will be placed in our happy meal turtle toys. Only given out to our CACs and distributor partners throughout the globe. Do you understand? Right on, man. Great. Cooking begins immediately. Hello, Mr. Redman. I'm Special Agent Whitstock. Thanks for coming in today. Okay, so you wanna tell me why the hell I'm here? So you know this man? No. No? He sure seems to know you. This is Jack Harju. He's a certified aquascape contractor with some small firm out of New Jersey. And a rinky-dink YouTube channel with even less subscribers than Ed the Pond Professor. Uh, yeah, so what the hell does that have to do with me? Well, out of the dozen or so guys that we've busted with illegal algicide, he's the only sniffling weasel we've been able to break. He told us he got the stuff from one Jesse Redman. What do you have to say about that? Yo, man, I told you, I don't know this clown, and I don't know anything about your blue illegal algicide. Whoever said anything about it being blue? We know you're involved with this, Mr. Redman, but we also know you're too much of a Tweedle dipshit to be working alone on this. So do us both a favor and tell us who your boss is, and I'll put it in a good word with the judge. Yo, am I under arrest? No, we've not formally charged you with any crimes. That's because you got nothing on me, man. So charge me or let me go. There's the door. Yo, we need to talk now. Meet me at the old lab. Jesse, what's wrong? Just be there. Your brother's an EPA agent? He's my brother-in-law, but who told you that? He did, he, we brought me in for questioning. What? Why? Some degenerate CAC dropped a dime on me, and hey, what, like, what the hell? You don't want to tell me your family member works for the government? Wait, when was this? Just now. Did you come straight here? Yeah, why? Oh, God. Oh shit, he's here. What? Shh, you let him straight to us. <gasps> Mr. Redman, I need you and whoever you're with to exit the vehicle immediately. I have probable cause to search this vehicle. I know it is being used for illegal activity. It's the last chance to do it the easy way, okay? Have it your way. I'll get some boys in blue and the dogs and they'll drag you out of here screaming. 
Hey Gianna, it's Spank. Give me Judge Heitzler, will ya? I say we just ram him. We just start up the truck and ram the shit out of him. Yeah, then we make our escape, right? So then what do we do then? I can't go to jail. You know what they do to a good looking ginger like me in prison? You got something? Yeah, I got something. Hello? Is this Special Agent Spank Whitstock? Yeah, who's this? This is Officer Montgomery with the St. Charles Police Department. Is your wife Carla Whitstock? Yes, why? I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been in an automobile accident. What? How is she? How is her condition? I don't have the most current information, sir, but I think you might want to get there as soon as possible. Checking in. Are you are you okay? Yeah, why? Frank? Hello? Hey, you got nothing on me, yo. Alright? You can talk to my lawyer, Jeff Payton. Hey, you hear me? I told you, I said you could call my- How'd you get my number? How'd you get my wife's name? Who are you working for? Hello? My sources tell me that your partner is laying in the hospital from a severe beating that he got from a local EPA agent? Uh, yeah, I heard that as well. They also told me that this local agent just so happens to be your brother-in-law. Well, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. There's nothing to talk about, Mr. Blue. This is unacceptable and will be dealt with immediately. Wait, come on, I can explain. You know, all businesses is fixing problems. Honey, we'll talk about this more when I get home. They suspended me and took my badge and gun, but it's only temporary. Honey, I gotta go. I'll see you soon. I need you to listen very carefully. Who is this? Hello? Two men are coming to kill you. Come again? They are approaching you now. You have 30 seconds. Hey, I don't get the gag, buddy. Who is this? They're coming. Hey guys, I don't know who you are or what you want, but I'm a government agent. You don't want to do this. I got a wife, kids, a dog, turtles. I'll build you a pot. Bolt Spank, bro! the first chance he gets. I'm coming to get you out of here. Help me. Well, well, well. I knew it was just a matter of time before you came back to save your soulless ginger partner. Now come on, yo. You're a brilliant man, Mr. Blue. But this bold move of yours has made me question your intelligence. On the contrary, I don't think you're giving me enough credit. And why is that? Because I'm the pond professor, and this is an algicide. Oh. Yo, what was that? Fulminated mercury. A little tweak to chemistry. Yeah, science, bitch! Gentlemen, 
That was a valiant effort. But I'm afraid this is the end of the road for you both. Where the hell have you been? You know, Balt, we have three screaming kids here. They're worse than disgruntled pawn contractors. Not to mention, laundry piling up, blowout diapers. I, I don't know, Balt, I just don't know. And what about these dishes? 